Okay, I've just un, uh, unraveled my little uh, Virgo BTA 20 smart card. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. One, two, and three. So I'm trying to do this one-handed, so please forgive me. So here is the uh, instruction. We can see that, let's go to this part here where it says number nine, which is your uh, open limit switch, which is a brown cable. And if we go to the control board, we can see that number nine is represented into number 43. So what we need to do is, is remove the brown out of that gray terminal block, which is number 43, and put that into this little uh, green card here and put that into number nine as it represents there. You can see that there, number nine, brown. You can see the second word there, brown. So put number 43 into number nine. The second step of this is the closed limit switch, which is the white cable. So let's go to the uh, control board. There it is there. The white cable is sitting in 42 and we must put that into number seven. So nine is brown, seven is white. As we go down the list, you'll see the gray is six, then the motor wires, blue is five, and red is four. So there they are there, blue, red, uh, gray, white, and brown, all go into the back of these, of this, green module board nice and simple number nine is the brown cable okay i have just stripped the cables off the board you can see there the red the blues out and the grays are all out so nine is brown seven is white six is gray four and five is your red and blue uh, motor cables in one side of the card as i flip the card over Next, I will show you one, two, and three, where those cables need to go into one, two, and three. These were the cables from a little bit earlier that I explained, the black, white, and red, one, two, and three. I will quickly demonstrate where they need to go. So first, what we need to do is, is plug one and two and three up with this uh, cable that comes in the box. Let's do that next. Okay, so now I've wired in uh, my board on the other side, one, two, and three. St Kilda colours for any AFL fans that are out there, uh, red, white and black. So you can see on my little table here, it's got number one, it, it says there to put the white wire in, uh, number two, the red, number three, the black. I suppose it really doesn't matter um, the colour coordination, but as long as you do go number one to number 42 from the card, number two to either number 10 or 11, depending on which way you want the gate to open. And number three into, again, 10 or 11, depending on which way you want the gate to open, whether it's an internal open or an external open. So let's have a look at that. There it is there, one, two, and three. There's my other end of my uh, one, two, and three. And what I'll proceed to do now is, is number one from my card, throw that into number 42 on my control board, which is my limit switch. And then two and three from my little card, just there, the black and the red, will go into 10 and 11, because this is just a single Virgo kit. So I'll do that next. Okay, now I've got my little card wired in there. Excuse the mess, I'm just trying to do this one-handed. They're the cables that come off the board. And that's the, whoop, where are we? That's the cable that I've used to, um, wire in my three cable connection one two and three nice and simple three cable connection uh, obviously if it's a single sided motor like this is for instance it's just our little display gate here in the showroom you won't need to do this to convert the uh, motor whatsoever at all it's handy to do it when it's a dual swing gate one little tip i will give you to auto set this motor to get it working is hit the ok button once select your language english spanish whatever it may be Go back down to English, obviously, for our Australian customers. Press OK. This is the important type, that we do select Virgo 3, because I'm using the three-wire connection. Um, I've just hit the top button once. See how now it's gone to Virgo 5? That's what you would select if you didn't manipulate the three cables from the five cables. You would select Virgo 5. But because I have... I need to go down 
to Virgo 3, 3 cable. Hit OK. The number of motors, in this instance, I've disabled the other motor, so I'll take it back down to one arm only activated. Hit OK. The direction of travel is internal. Preset is always SR, semi-residential. Click to open, click to close. Program all them in. Don't touch anything else. And then finally, the last thing you wanna do is hit the OK button to perform an auto set. So once I do that, I hit the OK button. The unit will count down three, two, one, and the gates will begin to close and open to do an auto set on their own. Don't disrupt them, let them go. Hopefully you find this video has helped. Thanks again uh, for watching. Any questions, please post them. Let's do the auto set, three, two, one.